Uh, well, the internal metrics suggest that this is one of the top five superstars in the UFC, and it's hard to argue otherwise. Sugar Sean O'Malley on the fast track to a UFC world title. Well, he's on his way. And people thought that it was fluff. People thought that there wasn't substance to the man. But then in the Purion fight, he showed that he belongs at the very top. Regardless of what you feel about the result, he was in there with a former champion, and he fought him so, so close that he ultimately got the decision. This guy is a master of setups, creating traps for his opponents through his striking, long, lean for the weight class, and carries a confidence that not many have in this division. Yeah, he's a unique fighter, he has a unique look, and he is so wildly popular that it seems like, for one reason or another, some of the fan base doesn't necessarily want to give him his flowers for the skill set. This could be a world champion by the end of the year. All right, so here he is. You can argue he is the best pound-for-pound pound male fighter in the world today, the UFC featherweight champion Alexander Volkanovsky, and he continues to add layers and wrinkles to his game. Absolutely incredible, all he has accomplished thus far. He's a tremendous fighter, and John, you look at his style, and you think to yourself, this would translate weight classes, pound-for-pound. Pound. That's the definition. He is pound-for-pound, pound. and that was on full display when he just dismantled the great Max Holloway. But tonight in front of him, he has a very different challenge. It's not a guy he's seen before. He's got a formula to plan inside the octagon, and if anybody can do that, it's Alexander Volkanovsky. And one thing that has been key to his success, he's just never been flat on fight night. Never. Always seems to have his best. We'll see if he has it all going here tonight. Our tail of the tape now for this lightweight championship fight. All right, now to get us started with the introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> the challenger, Sugar Sean O'Malley. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Alexander the Great One of the best in the business, Herb Dean, is our referee tonight. All right, the Volkman, Alexander Volkanovsky, at one point in rugby league, he weighed 214 pounds. As you know, he competes at 145 pounds in mixed martial arts, and he has evolved into the best featherweight in the world today. Striking is the focus here tonight, particularly when it comes to the leg kicks. Believes that he can get those caps pretty sore on his opponent here early. Start for the Sugar Show, Sean O'Malley, realizing particular success with that left hand. Yeah, he's got a great left hand. He's so long for the weight that he pops the jab and he just darts it with the left hand. And you see it on full display right now. Just out of range with that left hook. Volkanovski gets the single leg takedown. Just over three minutes now to go. Volkanovski is back in half guard. He's very comfortable here. 
lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. There it is. Now he's going to mount. Making all these shots count. Nice movement to avoid that strike coming down. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. The ground strike's starting to pile up. Oh, nice. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Volker. Another ground and pound strike lands. Not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by O'Malley. Thirty seconds now to go in round one. Seconds. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Volkanovski. Oh, nice job to split his guard and get the ground strike home again. Oh, Round oh. two is next. All right, so there's the end of the round. The storyline over those previous five minutes, volume takedowns, offensive rest. Yeah, this is an exhausting type of fight, not only for the offensive fighter, but also for the opponent. Always being under attack, always being defensive, always reacting so as to really wear at your gas tank. It's interesting to see who is more fresh going into the next round. Oh, huge kick! Able to land to the body there with the left kick. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. Oh, nice jab. And now the Big shot lands for both guys. Let's go, let's get the takedown. O'Malley gets absolutely tagged by that stiff jab. Oh, the sugar show. Sean O'Malley lands the left hand yet again. Oh, oh he is hurting for certain. Very nice leg kick there by Sean O'Malley. Nice body shot. We go two minutes down here in the second round. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Another one! Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like he let him off the hook. Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot on the gas to try to find that finish. Beautiful jab there by the champ. He's sticking him over and over again. He's got his head popping back. Clipped him with the jab. Under 90 seconds to go. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Keep pushing. Lands a big elbow there. Less than a minute now to go in round two. 
Well, we'll see if he has any response here. His opponent continues to land. A lot of swelling upstairs. Well, you got to move your head. You've got to be preemptive. You cannot wait until your opponent starts to throw something in your direction. You've got to avoid right now if you want to avoid having this become an issue. Oh, nice takedown defense. Ten seconds to go in the round. All right, round three coming up next. All right, there's the horn, and what a round, champ. We got to talk about the knockdown. When you knock somebody down like that, it's got, it got to be kind of fun to strut your way back to the stool. I mean, you are 10 foot tall. When you can <laughs> drop another person with a strike, you are 10 foot tall. Now, the issue is he did not find the finish, and he used a lot of energy trying to finish that fight. All right, so a high-level round there for him. We'll show you some of the action here, and you got to think the knockdown is going to be featured prominently here. Thought he might have had him out of there. He thought he had him, but the guy's tough. The guy's durable. He has a fantastic chin, but he just needs to stay the course. He does not need to be discouraged. Think about this. You're winning, and you're winning going away. That was just a moment. You ready to fight? Keep going in the same you're direction, ready. and you will get the finish sure. that you want so bad. Round four, the possible five. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Well, it looks like he's trying to set up the takedown. There's the attempt. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of body. Oh, yeah, DC. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. Work, and that was a perfect shot. Watch for him to set up that hook again now. Trying to establish that jab once again. him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by O'Malley. Well, watch for him to set up that hook again here. Whoa! How about these two going at it? Very active off of his back. Lands a beautiful strike from the bottom. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. Oh, Volkanovski's in half guard. Scramble and go! Scramble and go! With two minutes and change to go in round three. Lands the grounded pound strike here. Man, another one lands. He's trying to pound his opponent's head through the canvas. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC, working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Most fighters will tell you offensive wrestling is the hardest, most exhausting thing. Especially if you're just running the guy over, John, and then he just gets up. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Volker. And there you go, again, half guard. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by O'Malley. You see him put himself into the half guard? Like the control, yep. Final seconds. Big ground and pound. Oh, right. so saved by the bell. He was getting grounded and pounded something fierce there near the end of the round. You see it's going to take him a good chunk of these 60 seconds between rounds just to get back to his feet. So a big moment here at the end of the round. We'll see if he can recover in time to make the walk here for this next round.
Ready to fight? Ready. Yeah. Fourth round, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go. The tension is palpable. Fourth round is underway. You've got a thing or two to say about these championship rounds. The fourth round is easily the hardest round in fighting. You're so used to fighting up to three. You gotta get back off of that stool. And this is a real test of your will and desire to win a fight. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Well, as we pull up the numbers there, bottom of your screen, the body strikes really tell the story in this one. That was a big focus for his camp coming in, and he has certainly worked that midsection to great effect here tonight. Just missed with that right hand. Good job keeping that head off the center line. Slips to avoid the right hand. Absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really effective with their strikes in this one. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. Short uppercut here in the clinch by Volker. Able to check that kick as well. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. That was a nice strike. Under two minutes to go. Now he gets a more dominant position with the underhook. He is going to start to drive knees over and over. You got to be careful here. You got to move. That is a damaging kick that lands. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Volkan Leading now, nasty cut on his nose. Volkanovsky going to work here from guard and doing a pretty good job, I might add. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Work. And the referee brings the fight back to its feet. No surprise there. Needed to see more action. Thirty seconds to go now. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Big, massive shot land. Oh, oh, saved by the bell. The round is over. He got stunned by a massive shot just before the end of the round. So now he goes back to the stool, wobbly a little bit. We'll see if the corner can maximize these 60 seconds and keep his head in the fight. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned. A huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of fight. this fight. Fifth and final round. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. He's going after the head. Okay, huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Volkanovski's blocking well now. Nice job to protect that already damaged nose as he raises the guard. All right, so it looks like some bruising on that thigh right now. He hasn't really done anything to address that weapon from his opponent. He's got to check some kicks. I know right now it may not be that damaging, but down the line, you're going to really pay for it if you don't address it right now. I need you to pay attention. Protect yourself. Look for your shot. 
Three minutes now to go in this one. All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut, and man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flowing. Yeah, as it should be. Right, he should be focused on getting to that cut. Oh, this could be it. Oh, another one. Back to the feet now. The official decision is in. We said it inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 48 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout and new UFC lightweight champion of the world, Sugar Shaw. Well, remember the name Sugar Sean O'Malley who gets his hand raised inside the octagon yet again here tonight. He had some doubters coming into this matchup, but again, Sugar Sean O'Malley finds a way to mute the naysayers. He has set himself up for a massive fight coming up next.